Okay, let me share my screen. The screen is visible or not? Yes, sir, visible. Okay. So what we discuss in last class? I think it's flipped on lob and some uh, pattern features. Yes. So today we'll see a powerful tool uh, which is called whole wizard. Okay. So how many types of holes are there? Uh, can anyone explain me? Means uh, you you know or not? I don't know. You just explain the name of uh, holes. If if you are uh, using. Uh, sir. Yes. Sir, please let me in. Actually, I am joining from the mobile. So. OK. So is there any problem? No, sir. Actually, I am now uh, joined from the laptop and I am requesting from the mobile. So you please uh, accept my request. Uh, I already accept. No? It's not showing here or accepting. OK, sir. Then there is a technical. Already accepted. Uh, OK, sir. OK, OK. Please. Sorry. So please tell me uh, how many types of holes you know. You know or not? Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, how many types of holes are there? Holes. You know about holes? Yes, sir. We know what is a hole. Uh, okay. Uh, so in in our engineering field, engineering term, there are many many types of standard holes are there. Uh, you already use use that. Uh, can you explain me? Means give the give the name. Uh, you you know what you know. So there is a complete hole, right? Means complete uh, hole. Means uh, uh, the hole from which we can look uh, both sides. Uh, okay, that is a through hole. Ha <laughs> ha! Right, right, through hole. Okay. Then there is a. Um, uh, Blind drill. Uh, there is some drill options. Uh, which option? The drill, drill. Uh, like step, drill. steppings. Uh, that is called step. counter, counter bore. Yeah, huh, yeah. Counter bore, counter sink, counter sunk. Uh, yeah. Blind hole, simple hole. So oh, there are many more types of holes are there. According to the standard, according to the uh, uh, sizes, the holes are uh, varies. Okay. So here we are. We are uh, see the things in a in a single tool. In a single uh, options, we are using the variety types of uh, uh, sizes, variety types of uh, shapes with with the variety standards. Okay. So this is the uh, options here. We got, we got the whole wizard option. Okay. See, if you have a solid body already, you have a solid body and you apply it. Uh, you want to apply a hole on that body. So you have to click here. Okay. 
so the the whole specification tab is open here see in this tab we got the many more uh, uh, whole types or uh, whole standards and uh, whole sizes and the uh, varieties parameters with the position where you want to place the hole we got here okay as for our requirement uh, as for our uh, standard we have to define the holes here okay so see first thing is this one counter bore counter sink simple hole threaded hole so these are the hole types what you want to use here these are the thread types oh sorry hole types are here okay and this is the standard in which standard you want to do the holes okay like ansi iso din okay these are the standards and these are the types of holes like hexagon type of hole it's, it's depends upon the standards only if i select here iso the type of uh, holes uh, is changed okay if i select here see these are the varieties according to the standard it will be varies okay now we are go for the sizes of what what will be the our whole size like uh, m10 m12 m20 it's depend upon our uh, whole size okay then this is the feet it means uh, in which feet we want to do the hole uh, you already know the feet okay close feet normal feet loose feet and here we we can define the parameters uh, of of our hole particular hole we can define the uh, step parameters and the uh, uh, diameters okay and we can define the end condition in here if if we want uh, the hole is up to some depth we can select here blind if we want the hole is totally complete like true we can select here true all according to that uh, we can select here the uh, end condition of our hole okay some uh, uh, extra parameters are there okay here we can put the head clearance or uh, and uh, under head counters it, it it if it is necessary then we can check on it use it okay so see how to apply a hole on a body on a solid body so i just select a hole type like uh, counter bore okay i just select a standard like iso and uh, select a type like hexagon anything you just uh, select here and select a whole size here m12 so now i just place the hole on the body by using the position tab here two tabs are uh, got like uh, type and position type means you define the a uh, whole types uh, whole parameters over the uh, tab and in position tab we can define the position over the body over the solid body okay select the face here in this space where you want to place the hole okay i just place the hole in center click here okay i just rotate the c my preview is showing here okay this is our preview of hole okay if you want to change the uh, hole size uh, hole depth then we can also change now okay like uh, i just change it uh, m16 c if we want to change it manual method we can put here also the dimension okay like the counter bore step uh, step uh, height we just put here uh, 20 see the things are changed if i want it in bind see blind i just put here 30 see it's up to this much if i just uh, change the diameter of the counter bow 35 and this one is 30 or 22 okay now click on okay here see this is the whole type i just make it half section see 
this is the hole okay if i uh, if i uh, put that through then it's the angle will not come okay i just edit it see here if i put it in dual okay see it will automatically updated okay if i change something else uh, something else type of uh, holes we can change here also like a simple hole see simple hole means it's a like uh, a cut only a hole cut according to the diameter see drill size dual holes tab drills these are the things so you can define here click on okay see this is a very powerful tool in, in this old works a hole wizard by using this hole wizard we can make the a different type of holes uh, in uh, in a easy manner okay within a within a short time we can define the holes like in our uh, uh, exercises in our drawings there are many more hole types are there many more uh, thread thread threaded holes are there so we can define the holes directly from the here okay now see the things we just define the thread straight tab okay select this one I just uh, tap hole. Define the uh, hole size here. M14 into 1.5. With thread position uh, like here. We can define the dimension also here for constant the holes. Vertically and horizontally. Now the uh, hole is constant over here. Click on OK. See. From the top view, we just uh, see the thread here. See, this is the threaded. From the front side view, you can also the threads. If I make it see, there's a difference in between threaded hole and the simple hole. Threaded holes in threaded holes, we can got the extra edge here. Okay, the thread. Oh, another thing is there. Sir, can you show again the definition of threading? How yeah, to define yeah. the thread? It's nothing but just selection the types of holes here. See, this is the threaded holes. Thread tab. See, select here and uh, define the standards what you want. Then define the type of hole. Uh, if there is uh, a needed of bottom tab hole, you can select your bottom tab hole. Then define the hole type here, means hole size. What kind of uh, diameter you have, you can select here, like M16. Then uh, see. In here, we just see the things like uh, a threaded. Threaded things means here we can define the cosmetic threads. Why? Why I select? Uh, why I choose this? I just uh, uh, define it. After that, you can select also this one, but I select this one for uh, I just showing the thread. Okay. You just select here the thread option, thread type of holes. And define the standards parameters, then define the uh, in option, then define the cosmetic thread. Okay, now click on OK. See, go to setting here. We can uh, visualize the thread here. Uh,
here we can just uh, check on a option let's see the thread Just a second. Just have to enable a So see here this is the option just go to detailing here the option is unchecked okay shaded cosmetic thread uh, that's why the the things like uh, the thread is not showing in over the uh, uh, circular face okay now i just on that go to setting document properties detailing you just check on it okay you just check on it click on okay see it's only visualize the thread okay i just make it half section so you can see it by see we can visualize the thread only visualization it's only graphic okay a graphical representation only if if we uncheck that or it's uh, uh, unchecked then it's not showing If it unchecked, then it's not showing the or not visualizing the threads of earlier. Okay. If if you want to visualize your thread over the whole, then you can just on the options from the settings. Okay. Uh, you just go to setting here and. Click on document properties tab, select the detailing, and you can select the shaded cosmetic thread. It means what we can uh, visualize our thread over the whole in our features. Okay, 
only visualization purpose we can use the of uh, options Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, sorry to inform you that uh, uh, some network issue is there. Okay. So we'll start. Okay. Again, we'll see the things. The screen is visible or not? It's visible, sir. Okay, you got the whole option now? Yes, sir. Uh, in, in whole user, there are many more types of holes. You just use the whole types. Okay, if if, uh, if there is any issue, then you can ask many more types, many more standards and sizes you got here. Okay. You just sir, use uh, like before that, please uh, make, um, make our uh, license activate. Sir. Okay, okay. OK, I will talk to our uh, team and I will uh, resolve your issue. OK.
Okay, next thing is uh, drop. We'll see the draft option here. I'll take a new file. I just to make a solid body. Button. Fifty fifty. I have a body over here. I just go to drop. Okay. See. Here it's ask about that. Neutral pen and this is your SF2 draft. Oh, okay. I just select here. This is our. This is our neutral plan. This is our SS2 draft. Neutral plan SS2 draft is and this. With 10 degree. Click on OK here. See. OK. Again, I'll show you. You just have to select a uh, basic pen which is constant about the draft SS. Put the option here. It's ask about first is neutral pen means uh, 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 base which plane the uh, uh, another faces will be dropped. OK, so this is my base plane means this one is my constant pen. OK, see this face is my constant. OK, see the direction over here also. OK, then select the faces to be dropped. So in in these two faces, you just have to uh, remember one thing the other. Uh, the faces are interconnected with each other. Means you have to select the neutral pen. This one means this this plane or this face is connected to the another which is will be drafted like this face. This is connected to this face. This one. This and this. Because the both sides are connected to this neutral pen. OK. Now go for OK here and put the angle what you want. Uh, draft angle. Click on OK here. See. If I change the direction of barrier, see. If I define the direction opposite side, click on OK. See. Got the changes? It's uh, it's actually anti-clockwise, right? Then yes, yes. after clicking that it is creating clockwise. Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, if you choose the direction uh, like uh, downside, the uh, draft will be. Uh, uh, what uh, like uh, extend? Or if you sir, choose the sir, yes, we did draft earlier. So we selected the uh, two faces actually the bottom and the top one and we did uh, draft like that. So what is the difference between these two? In earlier class, I, I am talking about earlier class. Sir. Earlier means in uh, different in the different uh, software. No, no, no. The same software you you only I guess uh, showed it drafting there. So what we did was uh, we selected uh, the base plane and we selected okay. the top plane. And uh, in that draft, uh, what happened? We didn't give any angle, but just we gave the distance or something like that. No, no, that is in actually that is uh, available in the some features like extrude features, rival feature, the draft, uh, draft. Oh, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Yes, that draft feature is there, but it is a different option, different feature. Okay, it's apart from the extrude, revolve, or swept. Uh, it's totally different. We can separately define here the uh, faces to draft according to the uh, angle parameter. To draft here, select the face. Select. Uh, 
by the angle here 25. Okay. Like this, you, you have to use the draft. If you have a draft angle, then you can use the draft option. Otherwise, we cannot uh, provide draft over a body. If you have a draft angle in your drawing or in your uh, some uh, data, then you can put the draft. Otherwise, we cannot provide the draft without any angle. We cannot assume the draft. OK. Next thing we will see about intersect. OK, intersect. It means what? If we have uh, two solid bodies which is not merged to each other, we can uh, we can uh, cut some feature. Uh, from that from that bodies, but the condition is uh, the both are uh, the each bodies are connected to each other. OK. Like if I have a body here, a solid body, uh, a rectangular features over here. Again, I just create a, a like I just create a body here. Like a. See. Whenever you just uh, uh, create another body here, you got a option merge result. It means what the two bodies are got a single body. If it is uh, checked on, if I check it off, click on OK. This one and this one is different. OK. In this case, we can apply the intersect. Go to intersect here. Select this one. This one is different body and this one is a different body. OK. Click here intersect. So from these total uh, things, uh, which one you want to keep or which one you want to delete? See this one and this one. I just want to delete it here. We can also uh, undo these things by selecting. Click on OK now. Click on OK here. The features could not be completed well to more body. OK. See. I just give you another example which is easy to. On this top lane, I just make a circle here. Extrude. Here I just checked it out. Click on OK. So this is my two bodies here. I just go to intersect. Sorry. Intersect. Select this one and this one. OK, click here intersect. Then which one you want to keep or which one you want to uh, delete, you can select here. See. See. This is the use of intersect here. But the condition is the both bodies are unmerged and uh, uh, it is uh, related or connected to each other. Then it's up, then it's applicable. The option is applicable. Otherwise, we cannot apply the intersect if it is to, uh, already merged. See, if I just use the merge option here, see, I just check it on, click on OK. Now go for the intersect. When when I select the bodies, the whole total 
things are selected because the circle is already the circular feature is already merged with the uh, rectangular features. That's why we cannot go for the intersect because we don't have two different bodies. OK, if we, we, we have two different bodies, then we can go for the intersect. And it's basically used in some. Like uh, uh, knuckle joint. In that case, we can. This is the example uh, in variety cases. We can use the intersect for uh, make it make the design. Uh, uh, make the design so simple and so easier. OK. Uh, in that uh, just a second in our ETF there is knuckles and drawing each uh, okay see here uh, in in this uh, design we can use the intersect options here by using intersect, we can make the uh, two make the two uh, make a single body, and uh, by using the intersect, we can uh, save it uh, in both different different uh, bodies. I will show a I I will show you an example here. I just make a fork end. Okay, I just I just make this fork end, and I just use the uh, what. Uh, intersect option by using intersect option we can make the fork end how can we easily make it you just see here okay fork end i and i and c how can we make it easily through the intersect i just make a sketch this sketch and this sketch okay uh, this sketch of two In top plane, I just make this one and make it extrude up to this 18, 20, 18. Okay, and in front plane, I just make this sketch and extrude up to oh, 50. So now see the uh, see the design, how we can make it and how we we use the intersect option over here. I just show you here. Uh, first, I just make this case over the uh, top plane. OK, uh, we have two circles over here like uh, diameter 50 and 25. And we have a rectangle like the width of the rectangle is. 28. See 28 over here. 28 of a square. OK. OK. Go to top plane, make a sketch uh, having two circles. Which is one is diameter 50. This with this make it horizontal. And we have your fillet like uh, thirty two. I just trim it.
I just create a center line over here or make it symmetric. This point and this point with this. Symmetric, OK. Now I do have a fillet. I bought 32. This one and this one. Click on OK. So this much. I have in the front uh, top lane. Uh, it will extrude it up to 18 plus 28 plus 18. OK, I just go for exit here. Exit go for extrude. Uh, from middle plane. 18 plus. 28 plus 18. OK. Next in front plane, I just make the sketch. This sketch. Make a rectangle. Uh, Make a corner rectangle. Which is fifty Make it trim. This one is eighteen. Okay.
Okay, this is my sketch. Now I go for the extrude here. On the mid plane. Okay, go for more digital top because we are using the intersect option here. Okay, uh, it's the distance up to on you because we you will intersect the uh, uh, unnecessary part. Go for more digital top. Click on OK. So this is my body. Total body. I go for the intersect. I select the body here. This, this one and this one. Go for intersects. Then which one you need not over here? You just select like this and this, 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 this middle one, this one, this one, and this one. See, this is my body. Go for OK. This is my part actually. This is the arc end. This is the use of intersect. Uh, we, we just make the two sketch on on two planes on different different two planes, which is not merged and which is connected to each other. OK. Then we can use the intersect option to get the exact uh, model or exact design from our uh, solid model. OK, so in this uh, 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 back case, we just have a circle about uh, diameter 25. You can make it by manual and we can go for the extrude. How much it wants you can define here like. This is the model of arc end. OK, this is the use of intersect option over a model. So see how to apply some uh, like uh, colors on the uh, faces on the on or a solid body. If I have a solid body here click see you you got here the appearance options from your tie toolbar just click here exp, uh, expand and you just got the faces like which face you select uh, if you have to particularly define the color in a particular face you have to select a face and go over here see face or intersected bodies or total body or part okay Part I just want to define in my part. So here we just got some appearances, some plastics in textures like metallic texture. See, or in in metal also we can define like steel. See, this is the only color we just applied here we, we did not apply the metals uh, materials okay see brass click on okay if if we want to change only the faces select here Go for here only face. I just want to change the face color over here. Like in aluminium or uh, rubber. See. OK. Clear how to apply the colors over here. So how to apply the materials over a solid body? You just go for here. See. 
in your feature when the tree you got the material which is not specified because we did not have to uh, we, we we don't have to apply any material for the solid body uh, till now of uh, when you apply it here you just click and right click over here edit material okay go for edit material here you got a tab uh, like material tab uh, here uh, you got many more types of materials like steels uh, irons aluminium copper plastics whatever you want rubbers woods okay so here you just select the material types like i just want a uh, steel here from steel i want this one so see this is the uh, uh, material parameters like uh, what the com uh, yield strength hrc these are the material types of things we just go to apply over here apply see the material is already applied here then go for close Hello. Yes. What about Ritankar? Sir, Ritankar is uh, actually uh, busy in some work. He is doing some important work and he is also facing some problems. So he is not here. He just called me. OK, OK. OK, you saw this model when I did it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I saw this model when you were describing about it, but uh, when you start, uh, when you start actually making it an uh, extrude uh, base, then I was not there. OK, uh, I just use here intersect uh, option uh, because uh, because of uh, I got that uh, exact model from the two different bodies. OK, uh, I just uh, again show you.
so this is my two bodies here okay this is a single body this is a single body okay so the two bodies are different which is not merged and which is uh, interconnected with uh, each other okay i just go for intersect here and select two bodies over here okay go for intersect and which one you you need not over here you just select uh, like i just uh, don't want uh, this this and this you just select over here which is you did not want over your model you just select only and click on okay so this is my whole model like that i just uh, uh, like uh, like the way i just use the intersect options over our drawing okay so uh, uh, from from the model from the uh, from the solid body means uh, if if you have a solid body how how you uh, applied a uh, applied some materials over the body you just see here if i don't have any materials like see in our feature manager tree uh, you just got a material uh, material options like uh, material not specified means uh, in this body we don't have any materials over here if you want to add some material go to select your material right click and edit material okay go for edit material here and we got a material tab over here uh, different types of materials over here like steel iron aluminum copper uh, woods rubbers like many more types of uh, materials are there you just select the materials as per your requirement as per the materials you uh, defining over the drawings as like i just select here woods uh, and select a simple material over here anyone uh, see uh, this is the parameters of your materials like the modules or uh, the shear modules mass density these are the parameters uh, here we can change the unit also go for apply close see the material is applied see the battery in material uh, con uh, name uh, we got the material name here also you can edit the material here as like i just want some steel material over here explain it this one click here apply close see like that we can apply the materials also we can remove the material over here if you want to remove you just select here right click go for remove material if you want to remove the materials okay otherwise we can put the material over the solid body clear how to apply the materials yes sir okay also we can apply some uh, colors over the body if you have are uh, some colors on the particular faces over the body we can select the face go for here appearance see we got some face intersect body part like i just uh, uh, put some color on the particular face which is i selected click here face and define the colors which color you want to put see okay which one you want click on okay here click on okay see only the particular face color uh, was changed clear if you want to remove the color same thing you just click here right click uh, sorry, click go for here here you got the cross uh, type of uh, options you can remove the colors like this you can use the options like intersect and some materials you can add it if you want okay sorry so these are the things uh, today we uh, we had the discussion about whole user this is a most powerful tools uh, you have to use uh, before that i just have to discuss with our uh running team uh about your software uh, uh 
installation problem okay sir yes sir because so, without software we can't practice yes 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 as we discussed with uh, amit ji he said that uh, like uh, uh, we already gave to give to give the software to your uh, like bimal sir i think uh, he already linked up up your software he already got the linked up your uh, setup file to download the software yes yes sir he told me that uh, he got the link he also installed it but yes he was also facing the same issues that me ritankar are facing so what he did is he installed the cracked file on his laptop and he did that he did the same thing so we asked bimal sir about when we are facing the same problem about the cracked file so listen, that we listen. don't uh, need... uh, why why he installed the cracked file because we already provide the link yes because this he was facing the same problem he was also having you know the trial version so what we did is actually he uh, does a lot of practice on uh, in solid works so what he did he got the crack file so that he uh, do not need to you know uh, get updates of the new one okay okay i will discuss uh, with our team and uh, by today only i will keep the update in our group okay so what yes, to sir, do yes sir, yes, sir. okay if there is any new link uh, uh, if we have to create then we can share the link over the uh, uh, group you can download the whole software okay okay sir what uh, when we will uh, get the recording of today's class oh uh, you will got the recording uh, by 5 o'clock okay sure sir okay okay fine then so you already uh, you don't have software now no sir my software is also over sir okay okay give me some time i will discuss with uh, our team okay? okay i will update by group okay sir okay sir so the our class is over right yes yes i will update by group okay as soon as possible what to do or how to do i just update it okay Sure, sir. Then uh, can I leave okay, the class? Okay, Bimal. Bimal, sir, uh, each yes, in sir. our group. No, 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 sir. Bimal, sir, is not that, sir. Bimal, sir, is one of the sirs of our previous batch, the previous okay. batch of Elmat, sir. Okay, okay. You do have uh, his number? No, sir. Uh, he actually calls me in WhatsApp, but I don't have his number right now because I changed my phone. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, from previous batches you. So, sir, have... is it? Uh, uh, are you sure? Are you going to call him and ask him ask him about this thing? Because you know he personally told me about this fact, so I don't think. No, no. I just ask about. about you know, I just ask about to that uh, means uh, that link is workable or not actually. Okay, okay, okay. Just... You can ask. You can ask that. Yes, yes. But I don't have that number. That's why I ask. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I am also having the same problem. I don't have his number, sir. If some previous batches, if you have any number, some no, students. No, sir. Previous batches, I only know new Bimal sir, so I so that I talk to with him. And uh, from this batch, I know Navankush sir and Drupad sir, who are a bit busy because our college is going to reopen and uh, there is some. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. fine, fine, and I will discuss with uh, team and I will update it. Okay. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. Okay, fine. Thank you, sir. Thank you. हेलो हेलो